far in the behalf of all of us. Do you agree? If you agree, just bow your head right where you are. Heavenly Father, mighty God, we have gathered here this evening, O oh God, to pick up your name, to glorify you, to magnify you, God. We are here this evening, O oh Lord, to give you thanks to all that you have done for us show to our life even today, God. And so I'm just unthankful, God, for us travels to keep us here, O oh Father. God, we have not fight anyone, nor force everyone to come into the house of the Lord. So therefore, God, I pray to you that you will strengthen us, O oh God, so no one will snatch us away from you. No one can take us away from you. No one can separate us away from you, God. God will strength we ask you so we can glorify you doesn't no matter what's going through our life, God. Father, we have our praise team tonight. They come, God, to worship you, to lead us in worship, God. We thank you for the musician who are here, Father God. Can they come to celebrate you with instrument, Father God? God, we this time we ask you, Father, to touch our past and even our first lady, God. We ask you, Lord, to touch every other minister inside the house, God. Even the one that's going to bring the word unto us, Father. We ask you to anoint his lip, God, because we you know your word is already anointed. Father God, we come to this evening to glorify you again, God. We stand up as man of value, man with purpose, Father God. God, we come this so far. God, as we enter into your house this evening, Father God, we hope that everyone, God, that have a problem, you touch them, Father, because you are the great healer, so you heal all problem, oh God. God, we ask you for peace, even in the Middle East this day, God. We ask you to come up all around with God. Straighten our footsteps, Father. God, even those who are absent right now, and those who are on their way, hasten their footsteps, God, that they will come through and come in safely. God, we ask you to oh, bless every heart that's hoping this day to receive you, God. Lord, we ask you to touch them one more time as we enter into this great men conference, God. We ask you to cover us over this weekend, Father. God, we ask you to touch me one more time, Lord. And God, we ask you that everyone that is here and everyone that hear your prayer and everyone that you hear my voice right now, God, I ask you, God, that when it's all be done, they say that it is good to be in the house of the Lord forever and forever. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Deacon Carl Williams. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to enter into praise and worship at this time. Glory to God. I want to so by thanking everyone who's here one more time, our speaker. I want to thank you for for coming with um, his present. Amen. Glory to God. I want to thank the priest team. Will the priest team come at this time? Amen. And I have everyone ready to worship with the priest team to worship at this thing. We are not here to spectate but to lift up the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise His Jesus. holy name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I am a soldier in the army. I'm gonna fight although I have to die. I'm gonna lift up the blood stained banner. I'm gonna hold it out. I'm gonna hold it out. I'm gonna hold it out till I die. I am a soldier in the army. I'm gonna fight although I have to die. I'm gonna lift up the blood stained banner. I'm gonna hold it out. 
soldiers. That's the name of Jesus because we are soldiers in the army of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. Let's so praise God. I shall not die, but live and declare the words of the
Jesus. Hallelujah. I shall not die. But we shall live and declare the words of the Lord with purpose. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who am I that you are mine, oh love me? That you hear me when I call.
Let's share this moment of the scripture. Amen. We'll read from verses 1 through 5 together. Amen. Verse 1. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures all generations. Verse 5 again. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures for all generations. The word of the Lord is powerful, it's comforting. It promises us great things yes. if we only believe. Amen. And we honor His word tonight by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, Son and the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Patrick Williams. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The name of Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. At this time, we'll have our worship in giving. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Have the deacon for the bigger reception at this time. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we going to continue? As the scripture just read, the Lord is good. Amen. And his mercy and everlasting. And his truth and glory generation. And we're going to worship the Lord in heaven. And we're going to worship by being joyful. Amen. Yes. And the scripture says, The Lord loveth a cheerful giver. And this is just, it's a part of the worship, just like it's coming to his house with thanksgiving, make a joyful in order to the Lord. But that's how we read in the scripture. The, the worship in giving is a joyful thing. Joy. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. It should be a joyful thing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But the scripture said it. Yeah. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen? So when we come to give our offering, we must give it joyfully. Amen? Amen. Amen. And it will be given back to you. Amen. Amen. What the Bible said? Press down, shaking together. Uh -huh. Amen. So don't run it over. So don't worry about it. Just, it's going to come back somehow. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We're for our friend. Amen. Could we all stand at this time? Amen. Have we bless the ninth offering? Amen. Glory to God. Both righteous and heavenly Father, have we gathered here tonight, Lord, in this fashion to lift you up and to worship you, Lord, in giving. Father. Father, I can thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to worship you in this manner. Bless the Lord, as we come forth, each and every one to tread forth, to give back what you are blessed with. Touch it, Lord, and multiply it, Father, 30, 60, and 100 fold, as we give you thanks one more time. Bless the offering in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Christy. Hallelujah. We will start from the back. Running over you, and it will come back to you.
of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of Hallelujah. the Lord. Amen. So good to be back in the house of the Lord on this this uh, this occasion that we have for as we elevate the theme men of purpose arise. Men arise with purpose. Somebody give God praise. Amen. Somebody say men arise with purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Jeremiah, the prophet, uh, didn't know his purpose, but God went ahead before him and said, Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you and I ordained you to be a prophet unto the nations. Amen. Jeremiah came back and says that he was prophesying to Israel when he found his calling. And he was able to prophesy and tell the children of Israel that I know the thoughts when they are in a situation in captivity. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, Israel. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a hope and a future. And I expect of them a purpose. Someone say a purpose. I have purpose in God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I just want to salute all the visiting friends that are here today. If you're visiting with us today, whether for the first time or second time or whatever time that you've been here before, uh, we just wanted to stand so we can acknowledge you. Let's stand all over visiting friends as we give them a word of faith and praise and ministry. Welcome. Amen. Praise God. So good to have you in the house of the Lord supporting you. On this men's conference, we pray God's blessing will be upon your life. And if you don't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you will find him today. Amen. Amen. As the service goes on. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and give them a welcome again. Amen. Praise God. Welcome in the house of the Lord. Uh, we see Barry Rose and his family that are here. Amen. We salute them. Amen. So good to have your support with us. Amen. Praise God. We welcome all the Word of Faith and Praise Ministries family. Give yourself a hand. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Sunday after Sunday, week after week, month after month, year after year, you're here. Amen. Amen. 
Praise God. And we're so glad that God has given us life. Amen. Then everything that has breath, do what? Praise the name of the Lord. That's the purpose that God has given us to worship Him and to praise Him and adore Him. Because He is worthy of all of our praise. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Give Him praise. Amen. The psalmist said, I will bless the Lord. I will praise the Lord. Amen. At all times, his praises shall continually what? Amen. Be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of and be glad. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Blessed is the man that put his trust in the Lord. For the Lord is good. Amen. He's a good God. Amen. Us, and he has no track record of failing us. Amen. 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 And he will never fail us in the never, never. never fail us in the future. Amen. We serve a God who has a perfect track record. Amen. Amen. Husband may fail, brother may fail, sister may fail, mother may fail. But we can keep our eyes upon the master. Amen. He will never fail us. Amen. Praise God. Without no further ado, we have a friend, my friend, that we go back 20, what, 23 years <laughs> uh, from um, the World of Harvest Bible College, which is now Father Christian College. Um, we thank God for the opportunity that God has um, united our hearts together. It's like a David and Jonathan relationship Amen. over the years. Um, he's my big brother. None other than uh, Pastor Mitchell Nicholas is in the house. Amen. Praise God. Uh, all the way from Columbus, Ohio. Amen. Is here with us and we're thankful to God for keeping him and preserving him alive and in the ministry. Amen. amen. Although we go to Bible College, not everyone comes out. Amen. Staying and plugging in and keeping the fort. Keeping the faith. Amen. amen. And so we are thankful to God that God has preserved us for this hour. Amen. This season that we can continue to carry on the work of the Lord. Amen. amen. In this last and closing days. Yeah. When souls are in the balance for the Lord. This is the end time harvest and we are... We are in place to um, to reap that harvest. Somebody give God praise. Praise the name of the Lord. So, uh, without no further ado, Mitchell Nicholas will be coming just before he comes. I know just have him come at the come on the podium at this time. Uh, before he comes, we're gonna ask um, Minister Clifton Thompson or Bo Samis in the house. Amen. To come and just continue to set the atmosphere as we'll hear. I thus say the Lord. We're looking forward for a great weekend. This is just the beginning. We come back tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock as we pour into the men. As we continue to find our place, our rightful place in the work of the Lord in the ministry. Amen. Here's God. So welcome right now. Let's give a hand. To Minister Clinton Thompson, as he comes to cut into the atmosphere. And God bless you. We love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We serve a mighty God. We serve a good God. We serve a God that cannot fail. We serve a God that is awesome. We serve a God that is powerful. We serve a God that is great. Amen. Lord God, blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your awesome presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you for who you are, God. We bless your name tonight. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, 
that you would not let go. Amen. The times that we're living in demands the men of valor to arise with purpose. Amen. It does demand that something different happens. It does demand that we, we step into a place of purpose, having an understanding of it and stepping out into it to build God, to build God's kingdom. Amen. Father, we acknowledge you tonight. Holy Spirit, we know you are here. And we say welcome again. Have your way. Have your way. Father, I pray all of you and none of me. More of you and less of me, Daddy. Think through my mind. Speak through my vocal cords. Holy Spirit. Do the ministry that only you alone can do to the hearts that are before your word tonight. That they may be edified in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have your Bibles, um, please turn to Judges chapter 6. Uh, as I'm going to try to share what God has put in my heart. Normally when I come here, things kind of go a little bit <laughs> off, as in just because of how the Spirit of God moves in the midst of you guys. And so I, I always want to be open to whatever it is God wants to do or wants to say. And not be bound by notes or my preconceived ideas. So Judges chapter 6. Many of you know the story. It's about the call of Gideon. And um, in verse 1, it talks about the children of Israel, who is like the church. They have committed sin and done evil in the sight of God. And as a result of their behavior, God causes judgment to come upon them through the hands of their enemies, the Midianites. And so, the Midianites were such a wicked force that no matter what Israel did to prosper, they will come and they will take it from them. Yes. No matter if, they, if their flocks were flourishing, the, the Midianites, they will come and they will take, the Amalekites and the Midianites, they will come and they will take whatever these people have garnered for themselves, their, their provisions, they will take from them. My, my. Because Israel was under the judgment of God. Israel was under the judgment of God and therefore nothing they did was prospering. Okay. And sometimes that's what happened in our lives. Sometimes we find ourselves under the judgment of God and nothing that we do prosper. My Lord. Nothing that we try to do Will, will, will yield fruits or will re yield something of substance that we can benefit from. My God. And so these, these, these Israelites, they're suffering under the hands of the oppressors. God has given them the land to prosper in, but God gave them specific instruction on how to behave, how to conduct themselves, especially when it comes to worship. Yeah. And so they shifted their focus and they got involved with other gods. They got involved with idolatry. And that displeases God and hence the judgment of God. But our God is a good God. Our God is a merciful God. Our God is a kind God. So in verse 6, sorry, in verse 6, yes, is what I call a game changer. The Bible says in verse 6, And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites, and the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. Oh, Amen. They cried unto God. They cried unto God. The cry of Israel became the game changer 
in this situation. Amen. Sometimes you have to cry out yeah. unto God. Sometimes you have to say, I quit trying to do this by my own strength. I quit trying to do this with my own power. I quit trying to lean on the counsel of men. I am going to cry out unto God. And so they cried out unto God. And all of a sudden, it shifts. What they were going through. And the Bible says in verse 7, And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites. Verse 8 says that the Lord sent a prophet unto the children of Israel. You see, your cry invokes, your cry, your cry provokes the hand of God. Your cry attacks into the mercy of God. It's saying, God, you have to do something about this situation. Your integrity demands that you move on my favor. Your integrity demands that you do something about what I'm dealing with. Amen. And so they cried unto God. And Israel, and thus said the Lord God of Israel, I have brought you up out of the land of Egypt. I have brought you out of the house of bondage. And I, I, I delivered you out of the house of the Egyptians and out of the hand of all that oppressed you. And drove them out from before you and gave you their land. And I said unto you, I am your Lord, your God. Fear not the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. 